Hey guys, this is Balint from chatbottutorial.com and today I'm going to show you the new feature of ManyChat. I'm really excited about this feature because it helps you capture the information your audience, your user provides. So let's jump into it. First of all, it's a pro uh, feature, so it's only available to pro users. If you're a free user of ManyChat, you cannot use this. But uh, if you follow my principles, then you should make your bot profitable, so it shouldn't be an issue. Pro packages start from $10 a month. All right, so why should you care about this feature? You have probably seen that ManyChat introduced custom fields not so long ago, but you couldn't really use them, right? So they were there. You can see that you can sub, uh, make uh, segmentations according to them, but you couldn't really use them. You can manually add some stuff. So you can already add email addresses. That's what I did for some of the people and also segmented myself according to my email address. But now you can capture in the flow what the user says and save it into the custom field. So that's the biggest thing, capturing information. You can capture email addresses, phone numbers, can capture the audience age or the location. It's, it's just a button. They can just click on it and say, okay, I'm located here. That's it. And you can also capture anything else you want for your business. So you can capture their interest or buying preferences or anything that is related to your business specifically in any language. And you can have your bot type out this information. That means that you can use this information in the flow just like you do with the first name or last name. So you can make it way more personalized for the user. You can say, for example, if you capture the location that, okay, I'm going to make a world tour and next week I'm going to come to England. And as you live in England, you can blah, blah, blah. So you can use this information in the flow itself and segment your audience on it. I jumped ahead a bit, but it's uh, relevant now. So you can make a broadcast, for example, based on this data. Send this broadcast only to those who location is England. All right. And this is the basis of integration. Now you cannot really do many complex integrations, but it will change in the future. So you can capture all the information about in, um, email addresses or telephone numbers and integrate it with your CRM system or other softwares. And then you know everything th about the user you had in your previous system or you have on, on other systems. It's really cool. All right. It uses the custom attributes, as I said to you, the custom fields. Attributes sounds a little bit tacky, but don't worry. You don't have to do any anything complicated. I will show you anyways. So you can capture three types of information. You can capture numbers, you can capture location and text. Um, it's not that important for you now. Location is obviously great with, with a button click, so they can just click on it and give you the data, the exact data where they live. And it also comes in a form for you, so you can say, okay, it's it's a country or, or the, the city, not just like the GPS coordinates. Um, with number, I believe the main reason for that is that you can say, okay, anyone who is older than 21 should get this and this message. And the text, uh, yeah, just basically uh, saves the text. All right, uh, and three ways to do it that I will show you in the flow itself. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to use the question function live in ManyChat. So as you can see, it's a pro function. It's similar to the other elements here. You can just click on it and it's put into the flow. I'm under uh, engage broadcasts, but you can do it uh, everywhere you are. You have this uh, already familiar look of the text input hit. And this is the new thing, the free keyboard input. So what the user says, and then you can answer to that. Let's just put the text here, and this, this is going to be the answer. It's really cool because now you can have the people text something and the flow goes on. Even if you don't use the data or save it, uh, I mean, yeah, you should, but you can uh, have the flow go on 
and it doesn't have to stop or the default reply has to kick in, right? So let's go with an example for, let's say, struggling with something. So I can ask uh, first name, what are you struggling with? It's always good to ask your audience what their problems is, what, how can you help them, and you can select them and uh, segment them according to it. So what are the options here? You can have the reply as a text reply, location reply, or a number reply. Sorry for that. Uh, a text reply is what we have here now, but the location reply would be when you ask for their country or exact location. It's very good for local, uh, Legion, for example. And the number reply could be used, uh, as I explained in the intro, about uh, ages or telephone numbers uh, and so on. Here we go with the text reply. Let's make a new custom field for that. Let's call it struggle. Create new custom field. Here you can see that um, what ManyChat uh, actually recommends for using the custom field for. So I just say struggle. I already uh, made the text actually. I use um, use text here again. Oh, I have to write it out as it seems. Okay. Um, text is the normal text what you usually have if you ask a question. Number is obviously a number, a date. Um, you can use it if you want to specify a certain date, like a birth date, a date time, which is the concrete hours. And the Boolean means uh, it's a yes or no question, true or false. It's a little bit more tacky expression. So if you can ask, uh, do you use ManyChat, yes or no? And it, it uh, saves the information according to that. Description is a good reminder for you if you have a many custom fields or you work with multiple people on your team uh, on, on a bot. So let's just say um, struggle in business. Transfer to broadcast. Whatever, it's just extra information. Right. So in the search stage here, you can set up the information what you want. Is it a free keyboard input, which means that they freely put in their information? There is no quick reply. There's the usual quick reply here. You can define what you want them to answer basically, which means uh, it's way more easier for them and to use uh, this information later on. What I suggest you can do both. Uh, let's like let's say an example. I'm struggling with, um, let's say converting leads. Actually, here you have the option to save the reply as another value than written here. So instead of converting leads, it could be something longer because here you are limited to, I believe, to 20 characters. But here you can uh, put uh, longer as well. Or if you just um, do some funny stuff here in the replies and you want to have a meaningful uh, saved reply as well, I don't want to do that now, but uh, that's a great option. Let's say uh, the other option would be, okay, I didn't see the C now. Ah. Um, the other option would be getting leads. Before the simplicity here, but uh, I just want to quickly demonstrate my point. So the answer to that could be, I see, we would love to have you. Lead, and here's the magic. You can use that as a variable struggle, with a fallback. Click on below for more information. And you can continue your follow here. So you can just click on the button. Thanks. The website or go in the flow, I would recommend. And here you can add the actions here as well. So you can tag them. And that's it. Uh, let's do a quick, uh, okay, it's something off. Um, okay, I have to put a struggle here as well. 
it's not enough to create it. You have to uh, use it here as well. All right, it should work now. So let's do a quick check. Yes, it's already end. Balint, what are you struggling with? Hmm. Let's 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 like it. I just <laughs> accidentally clicked on it. So getting leads. That's what I'm struggling with. Actually, not. I, I'm more struggling with converting leads, but uh, that's not the subject here. Uh, it takes a little bit more time than usually. That um, it's it's still quite instant. And it uses getting leads here in the text, very naturally. And I just click on thanks, and here the website loads. All right, guys. Um, just wanted to quickly show you that uh, if I go on on myself, I already have it in the custom fields, struggle, getting leads. So I can use this information to create uh, a segmented audience, right? It's pretty cool. Also, in the bot settings, you have the custom fields you have. So you can uh, change uh, the name or the description, or you can archive them. Or uh, I hope I pronounced it well. I don't think so. Uh, so you can uh, make some modification on them. All right, guys, if you love this video, I would love to uh, have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or if you want to see more videos like that, just uh, go to chatbottutorial.com. I have uh, my premium course opening, and I will have many, many videos just like this. And it explains everything you should need to know about chatbots, messenger marketing, how to get more users to your chatbots, how to deal with all, all the platforms and issues. And there's a great support group for that. So if you, if you like that, I would be happy to help you out. If not, then just leave a comment. How can I make it better for next time? All right. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye.